Okay, so well, thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you, the organization, for inviting me to give uh, this presentation and uh, allowing me to present this, this data that it's a uh, focus ultrasound immune impact in liver tumors. So the first thing that uh, I want to comment is that uh, you know the liver itself has a specific uh, type of dealing with immunity. It has uh, their own innate immunity involvement and their own adaptive immunity uh, uh, yes. And as we can see it uh, here, uh, the innate immunity is more related to, to cell immunity and uh, the adaptive immunity more related to cytokines and uh, lymphocytes. We can see it better in this slide and that explains uh, all the, the roles of the, of the parasites, the, the rig cells, the T cells, uh, natural killers and the, what the, the coffer cells. And as, uh, as the, this, uh, the group of Zeng in, in this presentation say, the liver acts as a school to educate the, the T cells. Uh, and in this uh, presentation, we see it probably more truly in terms of that we see the, the group of cells and what function they do in the immunity, in the adaptive immunity. And we can see that the, that the CD4 uh, cells have the role in secretion of a bunch of uh, cytokines, uh, interleukins, uh, tumor necrosis factor, et cetera, <clears throat> and the CD8, uh, the same probably. The role of the CD4 is more, more important than the, than the other roles. But what happens when they, this system confronts an hepatocellular carcinoma? Well, the hepatocellular carcinoma, what it does is uh, rebalances uh, these uh, these uh, uh, these actions, and it blocks uh, the effect of the of the CD fours, and there is uh, an increased activity uh, of the T regulators, and with these different strategies, it escapes the action of the of the immune system, and then proliferates and and grows. So. How focus ultrasound interacts with this immune system. We'll see it in this uh, in this next slides that we are going to to talk about uh, different groups that how they have uh, taught us how to do that. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the pioneering work of Professor Fang Bu uh, from Oxford that uh, he had uh, done uh, several papers and several research uh, showing us the specific cytotoxic T lymphocytes actions uh, and dendritic cells uh, regarding to the presence of HIFU, high intensity focus ultrasound, and how come the, the, the HIFU ablation uh, promotes uh, an effect on the lymphocytes and also uh, improves the proliferation on the mature dendritic cells in, in the group of uh, tumors treated with uh, focus ultrasound. But now we're going to, to, to more recent work. This work is, uh, as has been recently published. This is the work of uh, the people from the University of Virginia Tech, uh, the group led by Eli Blaisailovich and, uh, and Irving Coy Allen and Alisa Hendricks show us here that the histotripsy, which is uh, probably the, the most immunogenic type of focus ultrasound that we have, increases cellular immunity and increases systemic immunity and also decreases tumor immune cells. We can see it in this nice uh, draw that they have in their, in their publication. And in summary, what they do, what histotripsy does and, uh, and what histotripsy roles uh, have, they produce damage associated molecular patterns that directly increase local cellular immune responses. They generate pro-inflammatory cytokines and chemokines that are associated with histotripsy based tumor ablation modalities, significantly alters immune cell populations systemically and locally in the tumor microenvironment, and improve the engagement of the adaptive immune system and increases the systemic and tumor immune responses. And there is a role of combination therapy with uh, checkpoint inhibitors. And now this uh, other recent work of the pro presented by Shevin Q from the group of the University of Michigan, Leaded by Sen Shu and uh, Cliff Cho, that shows uh, the relationship of non thermal isotripsy 
uh, tumor ablation with uh, promoting uh, scopal immune responses that enhance uh, immunotherapy. Uh, in there, in this uh, publication, they show that uh, histotripsy promotes local intertumoral innate and adaptive immune responses, mediated stronger intertumoral CD8 T cell infiltration than other modalities uh, of tumor uh, direct therapy, is capable of releasing immunogenic tumor neoantigens, and is associated with regional systemic tumor specific CD8 T cell responses and induction of a scopal intertumoral cell responses also inhibits the development of distant metastases and augments the efficacy of checkpoint inhibition in monotherapy. Is this knowledge that we have seen in basic research translated into the clinical setting? So uh, is this that we have seen in, uh, in the research labs translated to patients? Well, we're going to explain what we hear from him recently in the last uh, two years with the first human study of histotripsy in liver tumors. This study was done uh, in eight patients. It was a total of 11 treatment in these eight patients that had multifocal liver malignancies, uh, mainly liver metastases and hepatocellular carcinomas. The primary aim point that was um, plan ablation volume was obtained in 100% in all of them. And I'm going to emphasize what we obtain in terms of immune effects. The immune effects that we obtained in these uh, patients were 25%. It was two out of eight cases. When we, in other type of ablations, we see one every 20 something. Uh, and this is, uh, so it's more clear that this effect is more, uh, appears more often in the clinical setting, at least in our data, in the data that we have till now. Uh, we see here uh, this ablation, we see these tumors uh, located in segment two, it's an hepatocellular carcinoma in this case, it is just in front of the, of the pancreas, uh, the splenic artery and, uh, and a branch of the hepatic vein and the ablation very precise. Uh, that it's uh, obtained uh, in the middle of all these uh, structures. Going to what we want to emphasize, we see here the tumor and the ablation obtained uh, day after. And uh, what we're going to, I'm going to emphasize in this slide two things. One, that here we see a huge ablation. Uh, we wanted to, to have uh, bigger margins, very wide margins, in order to obtain very nice ablations. But we believe that this may have an impact also in the immune effects. And also this rim that we can see enhanced uh, around the ablation area, enhanced by the MRI uh, that we see. So what we see after the ablation along the time is the reduction, complete reduction of the uh, ablation size uh, to almost nothing. So the liver occupates uh, the space of the ablation. And when we have treated one lesion, all this tissue uh, that's been cavitated then replaces and the ablation volume disappears. And 95% resolution in three months something that doesn't happen with tumors that are not treated. And we can see it here in this case, we see the ablation done that is being resolved along the weeks and the other lesions not treated that remain at the same row with this rim around and with the tumor marker, in this case, was a hepatocellular carcinoma going down. So the alpha beta protein going down during four weeks. In this other case, we see the, the tumor and then the ablation, also a very wide margin ablation, a very huge ablation that we obtained here. So what we see here is the non-targeted lesions. Uh, we see here the, the, the lesions previously to being treated. Now we see in this other slide, in these arrows, a rim around the lesions. One, one week after we see these this lesions non-targeted, swelling last, uh, last, uh, as we see also in the immunotherapy, in the normal immunotherapy in oncological patients. And in the last uh, bottom of the of image, we see the lesions that have been reducing, uh, non-target lesion reducing in size, uh, as we see also in the CA biomarker, uh, because that was an, uh, a liver metastasis, we see also the CA going down in two weeks. 
So uh, in summary, in, in this case, we see that histotripsy acts as a systemic treatment and provokes an endoscopal effect that we may consider like an immune reset. So from a local treatment, histotripsy ablates tissue, liberates uh, tumor antigens, activates, enhances the immune response, goes to a regional effect in the same organ, reducing the size of non-targeted lesions and a systemic effect showing a sustained reduction on the tumor markers. So to conclude my presentation, some thoughts and remarks and that I think that are clear in this case, the impact on immune and inflammatory actions of uh, focus ultrasound, in this case, uh, histotripsy, is very clear. The effects are translated from basic research to clinical research. The ablation margins may have an impact on immune effects, and we believe that the least state of the tumor tissue and normal tissue together should be considered for more research. The partial ablations and tumor microenvironment disruption may have also a role in systemic immune effects. So there's uh, here, there's opening uh, a door to, to other types of, uh, of uh, treatments. And there is synergies with immunotherapy treatments that we should welcome and we have to focus on supportive clinical trials for this. I want to thank you to all the group of people that I'm collaborating with, the Histosonics group, the group of the University of Michigan, the Department of Radiology of the University of Wisconsin, and the group of Virginia Tech University. Thank you very much. And I'll be ready for questions when it's time.